now we are discussing the another type of routing algorithm which is called the flooding flood flood means if the water is going everywhere the huge water is coming and it is going everywhere breaking all the boundaries that is the flooding now how this flooding is applied into this particular networking so flooding is type of routing that we are taking now so the example is same just like the water goes everywhere when the flood comes similarly the packets are going everywhere now first of all i am taking this diagram and with the help of diagram we are understanding let us suppose that we are having the source this is the source router afterward we are having the multiple routers available let us suppose that this is a b c three routers are there then d e f then afterward g h i so these are some routers available now flooding first of all we should understand one thing flooding is applied whenever the source do not have any idea about the destination the meaning is that let us suppose that i am the source now i have to send a packet to maybe some person but i don't know where that person is sitting maybe there are multiple rooms which are available may if i say that 20 rooms are there and i don't know where that person is sitting so i has to go in every room and check out that person this is the base of flooding now we can say that every incoming packet is sent out to every outgoing line except the one it arrived on the meaning is that source is going to send their packets to all the directions but not to himself obviously i will not send the packet to myself i will send to every other line so let us suppose that in this diagram the source is there which is s now source has to find out where the destination is so source will send the packet in all the directions so packet is going in all the directions these routers are going to forward these packets to the further routers then again afterward the further routers beh routers are going to forward them to the again next connected neighbors so this way the packet is going everywhere we can say that it is broadcasting so we can say that source is going to broadcast broadcast means sending in all the directions to these packets and now packet is going everywhere means if i want to communicate to some person the person i don't know where it is i will go in every room and i will speak that is the person is there person is there similar way source is going to send the packet in all the directions now we know that it will reach to the end routers now c router is having the packet c will check is it me whom source want to communicate c will see no it is not me so c will discard it so c will discard this packet similarly maybe it is reaching to the i i will see is it me no it is not me so i will also discard it now packet also reach to f now f see that oh this is me to whom s is searching so s will accept the packet so now the source is having the idea where my destination is now the further communication will be sent through this particular path similarly if i am finding one of my friend and i don't know where it is sitting i will go in every room and find once i find my friend then afterward i will communicate but here we are broadcasting broadcasting means sending in all the directions you see i am exploring all the directions means wastage of time and more than the wastage of time obviously i am sending the packet in all directions just like c and i also getting those packet which is not required so the disadvantage of flooding is that it is having the duplicate packet so talking about the disadvantage of flooding which is the duplicate packet now we are discussing the applications of flooding if we talk about the applications then the applications are into the military field distributed databases in the military we don't know which is the area we have to target we has to go with all the areas we have to traverse over there similarly the distributed database the database are distributed into multiple locations so we have to find out from all the locations so these are the examples of the flooding where we has to send the packet into the multiple directions 
and if the destination is going to be there then it will accept it and one more thing which is important in the flooding flooding will be applied only where the source is having no idea about the destination so that is the routing algorithm which is called the flooding